Everyone's happy to have your toys back. Max got his catnip. He loves that catnip banana. He loves catnip. And Maya's playing with the little fake lizard. I got that when I came to Florida. Uh, I'm leaving today for a bit. For just a few days. And so the, the puppy is going to boot camp for a week. Which is, I like to call her summer camp. And so the kitty's going to be home alone without a doggy. So now they get to play with their toys. They usually don't play with their toys so much, but of course now that they've been gone, they're like, oh my gosh, these are the best thing in the whole world. Max likes the little tiny mice, like the one he's playing with. <laughs> and Maya likes the lizard, and she likes the little mice too. Oh my gosh, so cute with their new collars. Um, Max has this like tropical peppy boy collar on. And Maya has pink and yellow because she has this new, oops, I forgot it's plugged in. <laughs> I'm charging for the airplane ride. And it has a new bumblebee. Max has his fish one that he's always had. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So I put some food in there. I'm only going to be gone a couple days. So I don't really advise leaving cats more than two days alone because the food and everything. We have two huge water bowls filled up that are the dog sized water bowls. And I have food randomly around the house. I have a bunch in there. I have one in just their normal bowl, but they might, Maya especially, might eat that up right away. And then I'm trying to think of another place to maybe sprinkle it where it'll take them a little longer to eat. I might like put some in there, in there, and some on there, and on their cat tree. He loves catnip. You love catnip, Max? It's a little dark in here. <laughs> He's gonna get that torn open and get everywhere. She smells the food in there. She's like, ooh. And I already know they can get it out of there. It's not really a food thing, but um, it got the, ah! <laughs> she's got the hot dog. And he has the, I think the hot dog is the first gift my fiance ever gave me. And it was for the cats. It was either that or these cat socks. So it was like super special. I'll let you get to play with that right now. Are you having a hot dog and hot cocoa? At the hot cocoa station? It kind of makes me sad they don't get to have these when the dog's here. But um, since it's been a way they're playing more, they don't usually play that much in general. Like, even before I had the dog. So I think because it's all new, they're like, yay, toys. But once um, Hazel's trained, the cats will get their toys and Hazel won't, I won't have to worry about her eating them. But this is cool. They get to play with their toys for a bit. So even though it's sad I'll be gone for a couple days, they'll just sleep and play and eat. But they have two litter box, big, two huge litter boxes that are all cleaned out. All the animals are obsessed with hiding stuff under there and finding it. What? Was I not filming you? She's, I have, she's on diet. Well, not, yeah, it's like a lower calorie food and she's still so big, but being on vacation won't help because she'll have too much food, but she'll be happy. She's like, I'm in paradise. I get all the food I want and all the toys. I open the windows a little bit. Like, I won't have the actual window open, but we'll be able to, we'll be able to sit up in their trees and look outside. Put that one up too. Oh, she wants to get, <laughs> does he have the catnip one? Oh. I'll get it up later. Oh, Maya. I don't have two of them. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. Um, I have some actual catnip I can give you. <laughs> I'm 
Max is highly affected by catnip. Mine isn't as much affected. He never rolls on his back. It's very rare. He just had another antibiotic. Um, he gets chronic sinusitis where he has huge, like, nasty snot mucus burrs that he sneezes everywhere. It's disgusting. But um, nothing has been able to help him long term. We've done sinus flushes and special antibiotics for the actual cultures we've taken and everything. But we've found that, I think it's azithromycin, um, clears it up. But it comes back eventually. So we're experimenting with how often we need to do that. Like how fast it comes back to where it's uncomfortable for him. But since he's gotten treated fully for it, he has been like a kitten again. And it makes me sad that he didn't feel good because of that. All that time. And I took him to so many doctors. Um, my fiance is a vet tech, so um, she helped figure out what to do for him. Along with her vet she works for. So I'm very thankful for that. Yay, that was so nice of you, Max. You let her have the cabinet. Oh. You guys can play with the dog toy if you want, but I don't think it's they're gonna like that, yeah. Those are the best toys ever, guys. Your cat will probably tear it up and get catnip everywhere. The Yow, Y-E-O-W something catnip, but they go nuts over it. It's like totally worth it. <laughs> oh, babies are so happy. This is so good to see right before I leave. And it's good to focus on, so I won't be sad that Hazel's um, at camp, but she was so excited to be there. She wouldn't even wait um, to get out of the car. She knew um, that we were there before she was even out of the car, so it was really cool. She'll be happy to be able to run outside in a fence. We don't have a fence, so we have to like walk and she doesn't get to run, run free like that. Yeah, cause that's rude. She's like, fine, take it if you're gonna be mean. Aw, you need two of them. How sad. I'm sure we'll get sick of it and then she'll get it. Okay, no fighting. I'm gonna go get some real catnip and put it down for them. So we will see you later. We'll see you in a few she days. She got tired and let her play with it. So it's a happy ending after all. Oh. She likes to lick stuff. <laughs> Silly kitty. Does it match your thing? Is that the best? Turn towards me, it's so cute. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later.